Hi. Okay. So here's your job. You get to try a new app called ChatterPix. It's in your iPad. So you're going to open up your iPad. It's like a magnet opening. When you open your iPad, it will automatically turn on and there'll be a keyboard. The keyboard you don't need for this one, so you can just tuck it behind. But it'll be tricky if you press the button, so you have to be, you have to be mindful of that. Now, it's going to turn on. There's not much on your home screen. We've already talked about how to scan things with the notes program. That's my favorite way for you to get scans done. The rest of the stuff on the screen is photos that I'm interested in and possibly your calendar. So you're going to scroll right to the next screen. On this screen, there's all kinds of things. The one I want you to look for today is the one down below here with a funny looking face and it's called Chatter Picks. Chatter Picks. Actually, it's called Chatter Kid. They changed the name of it. It's Chatter Kid. Press Chatter Stop Kid. Moose. It's going to do a little intro. Just ignore the intro. But to see how they drew the line? That's something you're going to want to know. Now, there'll be a tutorial for you. And you're going to want to watch the tutorial. It's going to show you how to draw a line. So if you press this play button, it tells you how. Take your picture, then draw the mouth right down the middle or wherever you think the mouth should be. Now you're going to record your message. This is where you're going to read your story. You can decorate it. Now you can show it. <laughs> right? See? Super cool. Now I'm going to have to open this up because we need the camera in the back to show. The camera's over here. Actually, it's over here. And we need it to show. Do not put your finger on the camera because it keeps it nice. You want to always keep the camera nice without any fingerprints. Now, you're going to take a photo. You're going to say yes. Allow access to all photos. Yes. Allow access to your camera. Yes. Okay. And then you're good to go. Now it's on the screen and it's showing you that you can take a photo. Now, on your other screen, because you're now a two screen person, you've got your right reader. And there's all your right readers there. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find yours. So I'm gonna go find my cheetah picture, or my cheetah book, I'm sorry, it's called a book. Go find my cheetah book, where'd my cheetah book go? I think my cheetah book got moved to a reading room. So where, yours, yours should be on the main page though. So yours should be good to go. My book's kind of hidden. There it is. There's my book. Now I'm going to take chatter picks. I'm going to get, now you have to press the flip button. See this flip button? You have to press the flip button and it turns it around. And now I can get close. I'm going to take an up close picture of my cheetah book. I'm going to press that button down there, the picture button. So the picture button is what I'm going to press. Hold it really still. Done. Now ChatterPix is going to show me a picture. And they're going to give me a little hint and say draw your line because the line is where it talks. I'm going to read a part of my book. So I have to draw the line. I think I'll draw my line where the cheetah's mouth is. So that's where I'm going to draw my line. So I'm going to get mine. I'm going to draw my line right where I think the cheetah's mouth is. There. So I drew, I drew my line where the cheetah's mouth is. So it's ready. Now, I press record. I'm not going to press record until I'm ready to read. So I'm going to go to my right reader. I'm going to open my book. And I'm going to go to the first page where I have writing. Actually, I'll probably just click. So I need to click. Once I press record, I might need to click through because I'm going to want to read the title. Now, you don't have to read the whole book on here. You can just read your favorite part. So I'm going to go find my favorite part of the cheetah book. Let's see. I think I like. I 
I like the ending. I'm going to do my conclusion. You might do your dialogue. You might do your intro. I don't know what you're going to do. You get to choose your favorite part of the book and you're going to read it. So I'm going to press record and read my favorite part. And it might ask me the first, first time, will I like to allow the microphone? Yes. I say, okay. Record in three, two, one, go. In the end, they announced that to both the lion and cheetah kingdoms that the baby was safe and that from now on they would help each other find food and stay safe so they could enjoy the Angola territory for years to come. Leon told the crowd that if Skylar hadn't risen up, there would be no peace. Now I press stop. You only have 30 seconds, so it has to be a short part of your story. Now you can play it to see what happens. In the end, they announced the, to both the lion and cheetah kingdoms that the baby was safe and that from now on they would help each other find food and stay safe so they could enjoy the Angola territory for years to come. Leon told the crowd that if Skylar hadn't risen up, there would be no peace. So cool! So cool, right? Okay, now once you've finished that, you can go here to gallery. The gallery is going to show you yours at the very top. They have some other fun things to look at, but our, yours is the very first one that you made. So you can click on it and you can press play and it will show you your chatter picks. Now, here's what I want you to do. You're going to press this button. It says chatter picks and it has this button right there. This is a forward button. You're going to, you're going to share this. And this is going to say exporting to camera roll. And when you do that, it's going to export it to your camera roll. Now, when it's done, and it's, say it's done, you're going to have to go find your camera roll. That's back here on the first page. On the first page of your iPad, there's the Photos app. It's the pretty flower with all the rainbows. That's the Photos app. You're going to click on your Photos app, and now all of a sudden you're going to have some photos in here. Be careful not to take too many photos, or you'll have trouble finding your photos. So only take the photos that we're doing in our class. Now, there's two. One is just a picture of it, and one will have numbers it'll say like 0 0.22 that's 22 second video so the most it could be is 30 seconds this is the most chatter pixel that you take so this is your video sure enough if you click on it there's your video and it immediately starts playing this is the video that i want on canvas <laughs> so let's see if we can do it now on the tippy top here of your screen there's some different ones. You can pause your video. You can mute your video. I had it muted so you didn't hear it. Now if I press play, you would hear it. Then, oh yeah, there's play buttons right here. You can press play. This button here, the square with the arrow, that's how you share it. If you press the square with the arrow, that's your share button. All of a sudden, it'll pop up some options. You can share it with another computer to airdrop. You can mail it in email. You can add it to your notes. You can put it on Seesaw, which we could totally do. Actually, I changed my I think I would like to do it on Seesaw. That'd be so fun because you guys could see each other's videos and you would just die in a thousand happinesses. So um, we'll put it on Seesaw. So you'll now click what Seesaw. You do that's even better is you'll go to activities. So there's an activity called Chatter Kid Your Story. And when you go to Chatter Kid Your Story, all you do is you add your response. Super cool. When you add your response, it'll let you choose from your library. Mine's not letting me do it because I'm not a student, so it's not ready to do this. But normally you can click it and then you can just add from your iPad. It'll add, let you add your images and you're gonna add your video to Chatterpix Kid Your Store.